So I went ahead and pulled a few cards to get the overall energy of what's going on. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. You make me want to be a better man. So right off the bat, <clears throat> there may be somebody who wants to change or that's inspired to make a change. You may not trust this person. Um, this can also be somebody who wants to come towards you and portray themselves as if they're changed or that they want to be a better person, but they could have ill intentions towards you. My precious is in the reverse. So somebody um, may not have um, treated you like you were precious. Um, they didn't protect you. They didn't stand up for you. This could be, um, you know, like a frenemy kind of thing. Um, somebody who's just trying to get close to you to gain something from you. This could be in the form of information, time, money, energy, resources. I'll be back in the reverse. So maybe somebody didn't value you, appreciate you, or treat you like the treasure that you were. And maybe they thought they would never come back to you. Um, or maybe they thought that they could just come back in after um, not appreciating you. <clears throat> Some people are worth melting for. And when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with someone, you want it to start ASAP. So this person may want to come towards you quickly. Something is going to happen quickly. Like this person that wants to come towards you wants to quickly um, start their life with you, possibly move in together, get married. Um, you know, something is going to happen really quickly within the situation or someone is going to move quickly. Um, this person is your enemy. So this person may portray themselves as if, you know, you're inspiring them that, um, you know, they love you so much and they want to start something quickly with you. This relationship is going to move quickly, but they're not going to value you and they're not going to expect, um, you know, I'll be back in the reverse to me is giving the impression that when this relationship ends or if this is someone from the past, you know, take it how it resonates, whether this is someone new coming in to cause you, you know, and ill will or with bad intentions this person's going to move quickly and they're not going to expect to ever come back to you um, when this relationship ends um, it's going to be on bad terms because someone is your enemy someone is not who they appear to be someone is very malicious um yeah someone i'm just getting that this could be someone new for some of you who are on this timeline this could be someone new who wants to come in towards you. Or this could be someone from your past. So somebody could have gotten left behind with colorful in the reverse. So somebody could be of colors. Um, someone could have a colorful past that they want to leave behind. So someone may have been into some shady shit in the past. Um, whether it's with you or with somebody else. <clears throat> Barefoot in the reverse. So something wasn't natural. Somebody wasn't portraying themselves in their natural way. So somebody was wearing a mask. Um, with barefoot, you know, people who tend to like walk um, without shoes or something barefoot. So somebody could have not been grounded. Maybe somebody needed to get grounded or wasn't grounded. Um, they don't like to set roots down. This is somebody who is like non-committal. Um, they could come across as passionate at like overly passionate. Um, but this person has a colorful past that they're acting like they're leaving behind. Somebody wants to be happy and make things even. So somebody wants to balance something out or you could be happy. You could be balanced out. A thing of beauty is a joy that lasts forever. So you could be beautiful, divine, femme, or masculine, or attractive. You're happy, you're balanced. Something is being balanced out for you. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones in the reverse. So this person may have been um, very self-destructive or had self-destructive behaviors. They could have done some things that were destructive towards you if you were with this person in the past. If this is someone new, this could be somebody who wants to get rid of, you know, how they lived in the past. They don't want to be a player anymore. They don't want to tear something down. They want to forget all the shady shit that they've done in the past. They could want to balance something out with you and make things even. 
um, they could see you as beautiful. So take it how it resonates to your situation. This could be someone from the past or this could be someone um, new that um, wants to have something new with you, but you may not trust this person, maybe because of their past. That could be a thing too. When it says keep your friends close and your enemies closer, you may view this person as an enemy. Maybe you don't trust them because you know of how they were in the past, even if it wasn't something that they've done to you. Um, it could be something that you've heard, something you've known about. Uh, maybe they're up, trying to be upfront and honest with you about how they were in the past. This could also be someone who said, okay, this is who I was in the past, but I don't want to be that way anymore, but it may not necessarily be the truth. Okay, so let's get in here and um, see what's going on. See if we can find out some more information. You know, with these collective reads, it, it can go different ways because this is multiple different energies within the collective. So not everyone is on the same timeline. For some of you, this is somebody old. This is somebody new. Somebody wants to grow. Somebody wants to regenerate. This could be somebody who wants to heal something. This could be somebody who wants to heal themselves. This could be somebody who legitimately does want to change or transform. Somebody could want to provide Taurus energy here. Um, you know, I just did a reading where somebody is going through a transformation. And for some, it's someone where the Divine Femur Masculine has gone through a transformation. This is somebody, this could also be somebody who um, uh, did legitimately go through a change that is coming back from the past. This could be connected to that reading. I don't want to say for sure. I'm just saying it could be. Uh, because there was change, transformation, growth that happened um, in my last reading. So this could be connected to that. So I'll say that much. But somebody wants to grow and somebody could want to regenerate themselves or heal something with the salamander here with growing. They could be wanting to provide something. In my last reading, I had the King of Pentacles come out. Um, you know, after they had done something really shady, they were not, you know, the most trustworthy person in the past. Now they could want to come in and um, make an offer that you couldn't refuse kind of thing. And I'm kind of picking up the same energy here. But somebody was a coward. Somebody was not courageous, possibly in the past, whether it's with you or with another person. Somebody could have been tempted. They could have fallen for the low-hanging fruit. So we have Taurus and Leo energy coming out some sort of balance something was out of balance so something has to be balanced back out so with the balancing coming out in the upright this could be somebody who created an imbalance for you in the past and they want to make something right um this is libra energy so balance so something was imbalanced in the past they didn't care cancer energy um they could have hurt you they could have left you scarred they could have pinched you you know um, they could have caused a heartbreak for you or for other people, and maybe they don't want to do that anymore. This person could ultimately want to heal themselves. Um, so they could be telling the truth about wanting to heal because something was out of balance. They could want to come towards you and make something right with you personally if this was an imbalance that they, cr they created for you. Um, however, you may not trust this person. Make a decision to work on inner healing, challenge, and intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later in the reverse. So somebody had some challenges to face um, in the past. They didn't want to heal. They did not listen to their intuition, um, especially if they mistreated you, know, you, someone who is divine, someone who is in the upright here. They did something impatiently. Just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. So they made a decision impulsively in the past to do something um, to an earth angel, someone who, you know, has divine protection, somebody who is a good person, a light worker, someone who's in the upright, divine femme or masculine, they did something. Um, they could have caused challenges for this person, for the divine femme or masculine. They just didn't listen to their intuition. It's like they ran the other direction because they were not healed. So because somebody was not healed, they made an impulsive decision and this caused harm to somebody. And now I'm just getting the energy that they want to make this right, that they want to go through a transformation. They want things to change. They want to work on their inner, he their inner healing, and they want to balance something out with somebody who is in the upright. 
So somebody could have gone through an ascension, you know, at one point we all were not in the upright. At one time we were all karmics, um, whether you want to believe it or not, but a lost loved one is watching over you. So you have some sort of divine protection. Like I said, you are, um, a divine being, you know, masculine or feminine. You have somebody who's watching over you and protecting you. So listen to your intuition. You know, just tread tread lightly, tread cautiously, but you are protected, okay? But just don't go out and make stupid decisions just for the sake of making stupid-ass decisions, you know? <laughs> I'm going to check these first. Fortunately, my feelings regenerate at twice the speed of a normal man's in the reverse. So maybe somebody didn't know you were going to heal from some sort of heartbreak they caused. They feel really bad. They could be feeling guilty and emotional. Um, maybe they didn't heal or awaken as fast as you would have liked them to. Maybe if this is someone from your past, maybe you were hoping that they would heal or wake up and see the light when you were with them. Somebody could have taken a lot longer than you expected to wake up or go through an ascension, and now they feel like it's too late. Like, you could be, um, you know, like, this could be you. This came out sideways, so this could be now near future energy. Um, you know, you're very stone-faced, like, almost like resting bitch face, kind of. It's just kind of like you're, um, I don't want to say unimpressed, more like, um, <clears throat> Uh, you're gonna have to prove it. Like, I don't know, like, you're just very, um, as you should be, okay? Um, if this is someone from your past coming back up, you may be giving them the side eye. So, you may be looking at somebody's side eyes, um, not necessarily trusting what they're saying, or, you know, be believing that they're coming to you with good intentions. <clears throat> I feel like for some of you, though, this person is coming in with good intentions. For some of you, you know, based on the other reading, I was getting it two different directions, two different ways. So, you know. You have to use your intuition and um, you're being guided by your ancestors. So, um, you know, somebody did go through a transformation. Somebody did go through an ascension. For some of you, this person really did change. If this is someone from your past, this person really did change. Or if this is someone new, they really did give up their old lifestyle. And they do want to balance something out and um, do things the right way moving forward. This person wants to come in partnership with you. This could be a divine connection. Someone could see you as their wish fulfillment. And this is a love connection. Someone definitely wants to partner up with you. But someone was very cold-hearted, possibly in the past, you know, unemotional. That's that, like, King of Swords energy. Um, but you have a positive outcome regarding the situation. So there could be, um, if you do choose to, you know, reconcile with this person, it could ultimately lead to a happy ending with the positive outcome. This person could be nervous that maybe you won't give them a chance or hear them out or listen to what they have to say. Um, if this is somebody new, this could be a positive outcome, you know, that they did leave their past behind them and they want to start something new, you know, people change for the people that they want to be with, they, they want to be a better person when they're ready to, not because somebody is forcing them to, so somebody is ready, <clears throat> they're seeing through the illusions about flying monkeys, they could see through the illusion that maybe they were a flying monkey in your life, that they were wreaking all kinds of havoc to you. And this could have this person in despair because you were with them. For some of you, you were with them at one time and they were not empathetic, caring, and compassionate. They could have offered their flowers to somebody else. They are realizing that they fucked up. I feel like this is a continuation or an extension of the reading I just did. Um, like this is like more in depth, more in formation um you know this is somebody that you were in a relationship with and they were not caring and compassionate and they're seeing through the illusion that they were flying monkey and they caused serious harm to you and they didn't realize the damage that they were doing when they were with you 
Um, they were blinded by something or someone or about lifestyles. They didn't heal their childhood wounds. You inspired this person in some sort of way to cause them to make changes. And I know some of you are going to be like, I don't want anyone from the past, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then it's not for you, you know, and we all feel that way about certain people. But we also ourselves had to heal at one time. And I'm not, I'm not making excuses. Some people don't deserve a second chance. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not telling you what to do with your life. I'm just saying that, um... You know, in the in the last reading I did, I was uh, hesitant about whether this person's intentions are true or not, whether they they could be trusted. Uh, but this person is legitimately seeing through the illusions. They're seeing that they done fucked up. You know, um, in the last reading, you know, they were very emotional. They realized, you know, they were in despair because they were realizing the betrayal that they caused. And, you know... Somebody got a message of concern that was very shocking. This person that you were in a relationship with, they could have come to the realization or heard some sort of shocking information about the trials, the tribulations that you have gone through, whether they were the direct cause of it or a contributing factor to your situation. This person was shocked to find out what you've been through or something traumatic that has happened to you since you were last with this person, whether they were the were whether they were the direct cause of it or they just participated in adding more bullshit to what you were already going through whoever you are in the upright masculine or feminine um this the message is you've gone through a lot of shit you know um a lot a lot and this person did something it's like they kicked you when you were down they didn't help you when you needed them they turned their back on you they could have chosen somebody else um a counterfeit somebody who they thought was better than you you know they could have thought you were a gold digger energy that kind of thing i don't want to repeat the same message that you know i necessarily gave in the beginning but i feel like this is connected to that and this is kind of like them pleading like hey this is serious like i mean it like i really want to be with you like I'm just getting an, an energy of desperation. Like, they really do want a clean slate with you, whoever you are. They do want a second chance. They do want to heal something. They've been working on healing or going through a transformation. There's something that really changed in their life as well as yours. Um, you could have been mirroring each other's energy as well. Eating well is the best revenge, so you could be doing well for yourself, and this person sees it that even without them, you've managed to pull yourself up out of despair, out of a pit. You know, if this person left you in poverty, if they created a financial imbalance for you, they see you doing okay for yourself, you know? Um, you're not as bad off as, you know, whatever they heard about you, they expected you to be down and out, like sleeping in a cardboard box under a bridge kind of thing. Um, yeah, uh nature's more, most perfect food in the reverse so you could have lived with this person you could have taken care of this person you could have um tried to be like you know give them like spousal benefits like cooking cleaning you know you, you could have tried to help this person out but there was something that wasn't reciprocated they didn't see through the illusion they didn't want to settle down this person was very much um you know they didn't want to put their roots down anywhere this person is like the kind of person who doesn't want to get married or settle down kind of energy. Um, but you could have been like wifey material or husband material and they didn't see you as that because they weren't interested in that at the time. But now this person wants to come back. Hey, how's, how's it going? Remember me? Um, yeah, um, I'm a piece of shit or I was a piece of shit, but I don't want to be that way anymore. Um, so there's someone here who's like um sheepishly coming back and saying like hey um <clears throat> remember when i did this to you like um somehow i want to make this right um yeah this person went crazy they could have gone crazy because they ended up in a very disgusting situation which kind of came out in my last reading not this one but this card i think somebody was very disgusted with the person with that they chose over you they could have gone crazy banging themselves over the head, being disgusted with themselves. Someone is in despair and they are disgusted with themselves for how they treated you, why they didn't put a ring on it, why they didn't lock it down, why they didn't settle down with their perfect person when they had the opportunity. You were a perfect match for this person at one time and they did you really dirty for some of you. Yeah. 
Yeah, they were sleeping, you know, it's like somebody, it's like they weren't awake, um, and they could have been sleeping with other people, they didn't want to settle down, it's like they wanted to sleep with multiple people, or not be tied down or rooted down with just one person, um, you could have wanted to be with this person, settle down with them, but they didn't feel that way about you, and they are completely in despair, like, banging themselves over the head, they wish that they would have seen you for the treasure you were when they had the opportunity. This person was going crazy, um, has been going crazy because they realized they hurt you really bad. Not only did they hurt you, but they fucked up their chance at happiness. You were the perfect person for them and they threw you away and discarded you for someone who they thought was like them only to end up in a shitty situation and probably got ghosted by them or they ended up ghosting the counterfeit, um, you know, one or the other something didn't work out the way they thought it was going to and they ended up with bad luck and misery and you know there's a partnership um that was broken up or separated something did not come into union this person didn't want to partner up with you um someone could be worried about money or finances trying to squeeze money out of somebody so there could have been a breakup. So the person that they chose over you, the counterfeit, could have been a gold digger. Someone only wants money. So there's a breakup of a partnership here because somebody was only in it for the money. They could have thought this about you, but that was actually the counterfeit. So um, if you were struggling financially or something, that person could have viewed you as maybe the gold digger, but that wasn't the case. You were just in a rough spot, which came out in the last reading. Um... But someone's confused. Smile, it confuses people. Someone's confused about how you're so happy after everything you've gone through. How you managed to stay upbeat, upright. How you managed to do the right thing, no matter what the circumstances. How you are able to heal and grow. Um, someone is just amazed and confused about how you are, who you are. It's like somebody can't put something into words. It's like somebody can't explain it. It's just like you're... It's like you're blowing their mind. It, it, it really is. It's like somebody is so confused as to how you are, who you are. It's like you really are an earth angel. And they were like, how the fuck did I do this person so dirty when they're so kind-hearted, loving, and caring, and compassionate? And all I did was screw them over. And this was really tearing this person up. I'm not going to lie. And no, this isn't everybody's message because not everybody, you know, cares about how they treated somebody or how dirty they did somebody. Not everybody is sorry for what they've done, but this person really is. And they see you as the star. They see you have divine protection, but they were the king of wands. They were a player. You know, they cheated. They didn't want to settle down. They wanted to hop around. They were very non-committal. And they could have been very cold-hearted to you. You know, they could have been really shady, unemotional, you know, to you when you needed them. When you expected someone that you loved to help you out, they could have turned their back on you and just, like, just really hurt you. You're being set free from a, neg a negative situation. Um, this person could want to come toward you and help you be set free, but they've also they're confused how you set yourself free from this. I feel like for most of you, you set yourself free from something because of your divinity, because of your divine connection. And someone is confused about this. This king of wands, this player, they're confused. And they're upset because they didn't make you the love offer. They didn't give you the ace of cups. They could have given it to somebody else. And they are in deeper, I'm telling you, I told you they were in deep regret. They are in such despair because they didn't make you that love offer. They didn't give you your ring. Um, they didn't propose to you. They didn't put in the work. This really tore this person up because they chose to stay in their player ways and chose not to heal at that time. And you had to walk away from this person where they left you out in the cold for somebody else. And it's really tearing this person up. It really is. I mean... Somebody was cold-hearted to you with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, and you don't have fond memories of this person. Um, you know, this person may have done you really dirty, um, whether it's masculine or feminine energy. There's a Queen of Swords energy. Someone was in, you know, if it's a masculine, they were in their little bitch energy for the masculines. If this was your karmic femme, this female. Someone was very cold-hearted, and... Um, so the celebration, this could also be the karmic that they chose over a divine femme for this king of wands. This king of wands chose a cold-hearted bitch, just like they were cold-hearted towards you. They ended up with somebody who is an energy vampire, time, money, energy, resources, someone who has their hand out. 
And there wasn't celebration. There isn't fond memories of this person. They could have thought that they were going to be celebrating with the counterfeit and something didn't work out the way they thought it was going to. Meanwhile, they're trying to, they're thinking of you, how you treated them, how good you were to them. And they realize they fucked up. They're thinking about you a lot. But there's barriers in this person's path that came out in the last reading. There's a lot of barriers in this person's path because this is somebody that you were already in a relationship with. Where there's a partnership that ended, whether it was them ending it with their karmic to come towards you if this is a new person. Um, or this is somebody that you have already been with, uh, depending on which side of that you fall on. There's a separation here, or two of cups. There was a separation Somebody made a decision to separate from somebody. Somebody chose to separate from a karmic, whether this is you separating from them or them separating from someone else. A decision was made. There was a breakup. There was a split up. And here you are, Queen of Wands. I split the deck. Queen of Wands, you're loving, caring, and compassionate. Now this person feels like they want to protect you. They want to provide for you. Now they want to come to you as if they are the king in the upright, the king of wands in the upright. So, um, you know, they made a decision to split up with this karmic, whoever this karmic was. Um, they also, you know, this could have been a decision of you guys splitting up in the past. And now they want to come towards you and partner up with you as the king of wands in the upright. Because you're love, light, you're caring, compassionate, you know, you're emotionally balanced. Someone is not, you know, someone can't rest. Someone is not able to settle down or relax, you know, um, because they were in poverty. So somebody could be in despair, maybe because, like I said, you were in poverty, you needed help. Um, and I'm not saying you relied on this person for resources or finances. Um, you were just in a rough spot and you just needed like a helping hand, someone to be your partner, someone to, um, you know, back you up, someone that is going to love you unconditionally. And this person didn't do that to you. And so they're restless, um, having trouble sleeping at night, knowing that they contributed to your poverty um, or financial imbalance, a loss of something, possibly children that came out in the last one. There's going to be a cause for celebration, though, or a gathering or get-together here. There's going to be a reason to celebrate. Yeah, there's going to be a, a meeting or a gathering with um, the Three of Cups here. There's going to be a celebration, a get-together, a gathering. There's going to be some sort of happy occasion. And that is because someone is getting enlightened information with the Page of Swords. So there's some sort of truth that's being spoke. And this is going to bring forth a new cycle. So someone is going to come speak some sort of truth or they're being enlightened. And they're starting a new cycle and they want you to be a part of it. Um, or this is you that they're coming towards to speak some sort of truth about. And you are, you know, for some of you, you could choose to start a new cycle with this person. Once again, this is somebody who didn't make you a solid love offer in the past, um, you know, but they also didn't love themselves as well, okay? So this person has been feeling very down on themselves, um, yeah, you know, but they, I'm just, they deserve it though, like they did you dirty in some sort of way if you were with this person, um, they didn't make you the love offer, they didn't, you know, settle down with you. You're thinking logically, you're in your queen of swords energy. You know, you're thinking logical. Um, you know, you're using your emotions a little less these days. So, I mean, you have the authority to cut this person off. You have a decision to make with the Wheel of Fortune that's going to take you up higher on the wheel or let you fall. Um, so, you know, it's kind of up to you on how you want to proceed with this. But you're thinking logically about a decision. You know, you're not going to make a decision based on your emotions. Um, so you may come across as cold-hearted when you deal with this person. But, um... 
Yeah, somebody dated another person and they didn't have the new start, the new beginning that they were expecting. So, you know, after, you know, leaving somebody who was in poverty, this person could have chose to date someone else and, um, you know, they didn't get the new start that they thought. Um, for some of you, you are going to stay in that Queen of Swords energy and you're going to cut this person off and you're going to choose not to deal with them. I mean, that's just the way it is. For some of you, this person wants to come towards you and have a new start with you, but there's a barrier in the way, which came out in that first reading I did, the last one. And the barrier could be because you're thinking logically logically about, you know, what happened and you're not all up in your emotions. So, you know, somebody was being stealthy and sneaky and they were hiding secrets. And so when this person, if they do choose to come towards you, they're going to have to speak the truth. And you may already know what the truth is. But someone was being very sneaky and deceptive and they were keeping secrets from you, Scorpio ending, and they were lying and they were not being honest with you about what, you know, the truth when you were with them. And they also had some sort of addiction or obsession. This could be drugs, sex, money, gambling. You know, we already established that this person was not faithful. They were the king of wands in the reverse. So, you know, they could have not only cheated on you, but they could have a substance abuse addiction or a drinking addiction. And this caused heartbreak because, you know, they were dependent on those things. They used those as coping mechanisms instead of dealing with the reality of life. They chose their addictions and did not settle down. Um, you know, and they could have also stayed in that illusion for longer than they needed to because they were under the influence of something. So they didn't see something clearly because their mind was not clear. Their heart was not clear. They were not seeing something clearly. And there was some sort of disturbing message. There was a message of concern with the Five of Swords. There was a message of betrayal regarding someone's addiction or obsession. And this caused a heartbreak. Somebody went broke and they need money. Charges will be filed. So this could be... Um, somebody that you or your the counterpart this person that wants to come towards you are experiencing someone's dealing with somebody who is broke or they went broke because somebody was a thief somebody is depressed because they are expecting some sort of charges to be filed there is somebody who has late night phone calls a texting app or a second phone um so this person could be facing financial ruin someone's fi facing financial ruin this masculine could have caught the person that they chose over you the counterfeit cheating on them they could have found out they were dealing with somebody else they're depressed um they could be needing to press charges this person could have stolen money from them so this person who has gone through a change or transformation that wants to come towards you the the shit that you went through like i said they could be mirroring you or experiencing a similar situation the karmic, the counterfeit they chose over you did them dirty. They stole their money. Charges could be filed. They're depressed. They were cheating on them, just like how they did you. So <clears throat> there was something that was not a divine connection. We have a connection in the reverse. So there was something that was not a divine connection. And that's why there's a breakup of a relationship, a situation here. So however they did you, that is what exactly has been done to them. If this is somebody that you were in a relationship with in the past. Someone is just crazy. <laughs> Someone literally is crazy and somebody has different religious beliefs. So um, somebody could have thought that they were compatible with this counterfeit or whoever this is, whatever karmic you or someone else was dealing with. Um, this person's crazy. They have different religious beliefs. They're a thief. They just have their hand out. They just want money. And then somebody got left out in the cold. And meanwhile, someone does have divine protection and someone's going to be passing soon. An ex-spouse is involved. So someone's ex-spouse could be involved getting ready to pass and you have divine protection. Um, you never cheated on this person, but they could have said that you cheated on them because they're being controlled by spirits. Um, you need patience. Wait a little longer. So they did something very impatient. They did something really quickly because they were being controlled by spirits. Um, negative spirits, bad spirits. This person was a cheater. They claim that they never cheated on you, but they could have said that you cheated on them. Um, they could have slandered your name, you know. And this this feels like it's 
Um, for some of you, this is something separate altogether. For some of you, this is what you went through. This is your ex-spouse. You could have been married to this person. For some of you, um, you were not married to this person. You just dated them or you were in a relationship with them. Um, and they ghosted you. It didn't make it as far as marriage. So this is where, this is the collective read. This part may not apply to everybody. But for some of you, this is an ex-spouse um, that you were connected to. They're telling the truth in the reverse. So somebody lied, okay? So an ex-spouse lied. They did something impatient. Um, they tried to hurt you or destroy you in some sort of way. So for some of you, the betrayal wasn't necessarily that... Um, you know, the, they didn't just offer you the, what you've been waiting for. Um, not only did they cheat on you, for some of you, this was somebody that you were married to, they lied about you, and then they turned everyone against you by making everyone think that you were the cheater, that you were this, that, and the other. Um, but you have different beliefs than this person. You come from, you know, maybe you came up from like the same religious background or something like that and then maybe you guys took different paths um one could be spiritual one could be religious one could be catholic one could be pentecostal you know um one could be a southern baptist you know whatever um i'm just using that as an example but you guys have different religious beliefs and so somebody could have used religion to get people to turn against you as well be strong be courageous you know you're strong you're gonna get through this somebody was just doing some dirty shit behind your back and this part isn't going to apply to everyone because for some of you, someone really is dirty. Someone did you dirty. Someone is your enemy. For some of you, someone that you didn't actually marry. Okay, so there's two sides of this. For some of you, for those of you who were with somebody who did you really, really dirty and they're not going to change, you were married to that person. For some of you, you just dated someone or lived with them or something like that and they just didn't want to settle down. They were noncommittal. Um... For that group of people, for that aspect of the reading, that person r really did change or is more likely to have changed. So like I said, there's two scenarios going on and I'm trying to keep it all straight. But <clears throat> yeah, there's definitely two different scenarios going on. For some of you, you are married to someone. Someone's going to tell you some important information. You're going to have to be strong. Be careful how you use this information. There may be something shocking that maybe you weren't expecting. Um, someone could be stalking you. There's a competition that you don't know about, and there's a betrayal. So someone has you in a competition, or somebody has had you in a competition. Someone's going to speak out about this. Somebody was competing with you, whether you knew it or not. Somebody was not innocent. They were trying to sabotage you. So somebody was guilty of trying to sabotage you intentionally. This is somebody, if you were married to this person. Somebody didn't pay attention to their dreams. Um, or you could have had dreams about this person. And they had a sex addiction that they were fighting through. So somebody was dealing with a sex addiction that they didn't want to be exposed. So they could have said that about you. That you were a liar. That you were a cheat. Um... And it was actually them that was doing that for some of for some of you in this situation. There's something significant about May for some of you. Somebody wants to jump in with both feet. So somebody could be coming towards you in May. Someone could want to jump in with something. Um, you know, they're going to go, go for broke. Someone is going to put their pride aside and come towards you by May or in May. And say they want to jump in, um, you know, head first. They want to jump in with both feet. They're ready to do this. And they could show up with a ring. Like if this is a masculine, they could want to propose to you. Um, someone did not have an ace in the hole or ace up their sleeve. Somebody may have thought they did by airing your dirty laundry, talking shit about you. In the past, you've healed from something or they healed from something. Okay, so once again, this could be your divine counterpart, the karmic that they were dealing with. Or this could be your karmic. Um, so, you know, you got to just kind of figure this out for yourself where you fit into this because someone healed from a heartbreak here from someone airing their dirty laundry, talking shit about them. Um, and they were bottomless pit. They were that gold digger energy or the, the swords energy, somebody who just wanted to drain someone of time, money, energy, resources. Um, but someone is seeing something crystal clear about someone that something was just for show and you are the best thing since sliced bread. So this could be your divine counterpart seeing this about the person that they were dealing with. Okay. 
or this could be the person that you were dealing with that you were married to, you know? Someone is really sincere. Someone, someone really does have, um, you know, good intentions here, whether this is you or your divine counterpart, a Taurus. So there is a Taurus here that really could have sincere intentions or that you are sincere. Or they could have it in their charts. <clears throat> um, something is too good to be true, though. Someone pulled the wool over your eyes. So, um... Although someone is sincere, this could be you who is sincere. For some of you, there's a Taurus who is too good to be true, and they're trying to pull the wool over your eyes. So there is a Taurus here that could be being deceptive, and they're trying to come across as they're being sincere. Um, or they know that you're sincere, and they're still trying to pull the wool over your eyes. So, you know, you got to be careful. Use your intuition. You're being guided by your ancestors. Just, you know, someone is your op plays for the other team so someone is trying to pull the wool over your eyes and they are your opposition somebody doesn't really want to reconcile with you they're just trying to cause you more harm so be careful but someone's about to go into their worst nightmare so for some of you you have to be careful you're going to end up in your worst nightmare if you deal with this person because um they're your op and their worst nightmare is to see you happy so if you reject this person um, you know, their worst nightmare is seeing you be happy with somebody else. This adds insult to injury to them. It's like, not only are they, um, having some sort of regret over how they treated you or what they did, um, to add insult to injury, you know, that's just their karma. Like, I don't know, for some of the, for some people, they really deserve whatever they get, you know? Someone judged a book by its cover on Tuesday, you know, they looked at you, judged you, they didn't take you seriously, um, they left you out in the cold, you know, we have Scorpio here. And we have a Leo in the reverse here. And then a Taurus in the reverse. And then lose your temper, lose your head. So there's someone that's going to lose their temper, okay? Um, I have the Scorpio here in the upright. And then I have the Taurus and the Leo in the reverse. So one of y'all are Taurus, Leo, um, Scorpio. Um, someone's going to lose their temper. Someone is going to snap. Um, there could be a physical altercation. Be careful of that. Someone could be losing their temper in November, so there could have been some sort of altercation in November that could be significant, or there's going to be one in November, depending on whether this has happened already or it's going to happen for you. Every dog has its day. So, you know, something is going to work out positively for you who are in the upright. Someone's about to get their 15 minutes of fame. <clears throat> Yeah, and someone is spinning their wheel. So if you're getting some sort of recognition or anything like that or accolades or accommodations, anything like that, someone is spinning their wheels over this. Someone's kind of jealous. This could even be a counterfeit person that somebody chose over you who's jealous. This could be your ex who's jealous and spinning their wheels. They don't like this at all, all right? And they don't like it because someone did try to steal your work and copy you. You know, and that came out in the first reading. Um, but someone tried to take your work and use it as their own. B could be significant, person, place, or thing. G. Big G's or big could be significant. X. Bigs. Mr. Big. Sex in the City could be significant. R. A, yeah, it's a wrap for somebody. R A P, something's a wrap. Something, um, rap could be significant. One of you guys could listen to rap. So, Z, raps. <laughs> someone could rap. Someone could be a rapper. Oops. B. 
Bed and breakfast? Somebody can want to bring you bed and breakfast? P gas station could be significant. BP gas station will do one more. And J. So I have B P J B G X R A P N Z. I hope this helps. Have a good day.